Good morning. Do you know, like, for everybody, life is different. And my life will be different from yours and yours from mine. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we all came here to the Philippines for a specific reason. And for me, it was the adventure of a new place, um, <clears throat> a new environment, something to lift oneself up with. Even at, hmm, what was I, 67. Um, but one thing we mustn't lose, lose uh, touch with and focus is that remembering how life was before. And that is that within relationships, there's always going to be ups and downs. And also, there may be big changes also. Now, none of those things would, I'm sure, have changed your life forever. Your immediate situation might have changed, but your ability to pick up yourself and move on trying to find another little place for you to focus on your life again. And really nothing is any different here in the Philippines in the sense that if it doesn't work out with your girlfriend or partner, don't forget that it's no different than back home. Did you just curl up into a ball and say, my life is over? Or did you pick yourself up, take stock, re reevaluate your situation, and then strive to achieve it? Because that's what life's about. It's not about falling by the wayside, feeling sorry for yourself. Sure, you can have regret, you can have um, disappointment, but at the end of the day, it's you as a person, is how you then deal with it. And everybody deals with situations differently. But what you have really do have to remember is that even if you build homes and buy fancy cars and spend a lot of money in your effort to create a, a wonderful life here, that doesn't mean that when, when you decide or you discover that it's not quite how you wanted it, that you can't change it, that you can't move on, because if you can't, then you wouldn't even back home. And of course the question is, how did you get here? And our videos that I put up are an attempt to make you realize, to trigger the thoughts that many of us, including myself, that have experienced some, some forms of difficulty, that you also challenge your own mind into asking yourself how you would actually deal with it if it happened to you. Now, some of you paint a picture that's pretty rosy, uh, pretty wonderful, and I'm sure that many of us do find that. But there are a few also that fall by the wayside. And I suppose the message is that don't be disheartened because for every failed marriage back home, there was always the hope of better things to come. You can, some people describe in today's language, toxic relationship. Yeah, you know, the, it's, I suppose it's way of describing 
a relationship that maybe isn't quite how you anticipated it being. Every time you attempt to try and make things better, it just seems to get worse. But that doesn't mean that every Filipina within a relationship, no matter whether they're small aspects of what we've spoken about, tempo, mood changes, rudeness, laziness, um, inability to look at the big picture, all those things that can niggle us as foreigners who are used to trying to plan out one's life in a more orderly way. That's all part and parcel of living with a different culture. And I say with, because if we can't embrace what we have in front of us and what we have around us, then we are going to find it difficult to adjust our own settings in understanding how we deal with the different issues. If you can't get on a jeepney, you can only drive yourself in a car, and you can't afford a car, um, you might find it rather frustrating. If you can step onto a jeep jeepney, enjoy the ride, enjoy the chat if you have it, or even just the glances, then you're part of the way of becoming more adapted to things around you. And you have to remember that people behind all those smiles, they are still very friendly. Sure, I'm sure that they have their own ups and downs in their own lives and families, but they are not, they are proud people. They won't necessarily tell you about it or talk about it. If you talk about your situation, you may well find them agreeing and uh, commiserating. But of course, a lot of that is just purely small talk and an attempt to maybe build a little bit of gossip. Oh, I was talking to a foreigner the other day. And that's what life is like here. There's a lot of gossip, a lot of jealousy, a lot of I wish in their minds. And we can't change that. They think we're rich. What can we say? You know? What is rich? It's comparing one's life with the other. I mean, the farm we had back in Australia, our neighbours were millionaires. They really were millionaires. I wasn't. I was just Joe Blog. And I worked hard. I made a good living. I put aside enough for my future. And that was me. And we'll call him Fred next door. Sure, he had a, the latest model BMW. His wife had the same. Uh, they wanted for nothing. They put a tennis court in their garden. You know, who has a tennis court on a farm? A rich person. But did I worry about that? No, I didn't play tennis. But did I go and have coffees with him? Yes. Him and his wife. And it was enjoyable times. They were good neighbours. But we must stop comparing. Stop comparing my life, as you perceive it to be, with a negative aspect of living here in the Philippines. It's just life. Some, some days are really good. It's like, should I do a journal of my daily life to have my ups and downs discussed? No, there's no need to. I have my thoughts for the day. Sometimes they're twinged with a bit of disappointment. Sometimes they're twinged with a bit of excitement. Each day is different, and I love each day. Today is Saturday. How many will he do today? I surprised myself by doing three yesterday. But as much as I enjoy doing them, also, going by the views, 
We are only a small channel, but it's always encouraging to have the comment. Sure, some of them are the same people, but that's just part of our little family, our little YouTube family. And it is great to have that as an outlet, a hobby, um, a feeling of community. Just like when we walk down the road here, you cannot help but get noticed. And everybody is so friendly and chatting to you. The kids, the mums, the dads. And uh, that's life here in the Philippines. I can't paint a better picture. Unless, of course, you want a fake one. And I'm not into that. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Come on, subscribe. Slowly, slowly. We'll get to 10,000 soon. So, you have a great day. And uh, we'll speak again, maybe later on. Bye now.